My name is Nathan, I'm a first year chemical engineering undergraduate at Imperial College London and this is a day in my life. Alright, so it's about 20 past 7 in the morning, I just woke up a little while ago. I'm going to go through my morning routine quickly. It's pretty simple, to be fair. I wake up at 7am in the morning every day, or at least I try to. Um, just so I have sort of a regular sleep schedule going on. Um, then priority is a cup of tea and make breakfast. Um, I find that a cooked breakfast is always better than like a bowl of cereal just because it helps me uh, focus and like just more kind of makes me more alert. Not quite sure why that is, maybe it's just a personal thing, but cook breakfast every day pretty much um, unless I wake up late. And then kind of the most important part of my morning routine is when I come back, eat my breakfast, I'm checking social media for one, um, I'm also checking group chats for my course just to see what's going on around me, checking my emails to see if I've got any important information come through um, that I've missed, that sort of stuff and then I also check my timetable, see what I've got on in terms of lectures, in terms of tutorials and get an idea of what my day is going to consist of and then I can fill in the gaps with things I want to do, things I need to do like writing up notes um, doing problem sheets, if I've got to go shopping, got to do laundry, those sort of things. And I compile that all into a to-do list on Microsoft OneNote, which is a great piece of software. Um, and essentially that's my day planned. Um, once I've done that, if I've got 10, 20 minutes after, I can chill, I can watch YouTube, I can do a problem sheet if it's due and I haven't done it yet, sometimes I get behind. Um, and then I head off. Um, about 40 to 50 minutes before my first lecture I try and leave just so I have plenty of time to commute. It's only about half an hour commute from Waterloo to South Kensington but still want to leave good time in case the tubes are buggered which they are a lot of the time. Um, so in a nutshell that's my morning routine. Um, I'm gonna go now, cook myself breakfast, get my stuff together. Um, today's a nice day, I'll probably walk across to Embankment and I'll get some nice scenic shots Waterloo and or South Kensington, stick those in and then I've got chemistry at 9am. Separations afterwards, two really interesting uh, lectures hopefully, and then I've got a briefing on foundation labs which I'll talk more about later. So I just had my lectures, like I said, I had chemistry and separation, and then a uh, lab briefing afterwards. Uh, I got there a little bit late because of the tube, and it just started, so I didn't want to film in the lecture and distract people. So here you see me just doing some work. The lectures I had were really interesting, actually. Uh, in chemistry, we did some organic chemistry, uh, nuclear phyllic substitution, and the mechanisms, and that's just really cool. And then we had separations afterwards. And really, I love today's kind of like really exemplified the two main sides of my course. We have like the science and the understanding of the materials, so like chemistry, properties of matter. We do um, quantum physics, fluid mechanics, and all this stuff. And then the other side of it is the application, the actual engineering, like separation processes, process analysis. You design entire chemical plants, thermodynamics, heat and mass transfer. And it's like this diversity that I just really love about my degree. Um, right now you see me writing up some separation notes that I've just made on the lecture, which I just had. It's on flash distillation, which is really cool. It's where you have like a big metal drum and you pump a mixture in and heat it up. And then you take off the vapour and the liquid and separate out the mixture. And, I mean, separation processes is probably the most chemical engineering module I have this year. Um, it's really cool. The drums themselves actually are quite massive. I'll put a picture in. Um, they're pretty cool, but we're doing distillation columns next, which are like so much better, so much cooler. I can't wait for that. Um, I suppose I'll talk about the way I take notes in a lecture, um, and after a lecture. In lectures I take really rough notes, like only the key points 
um, not necessarily full sentences, often not even full words, I just use abbreviations. And I do this because I can pay attention to what the lecturer is saying and not just writing down uh, what they have on the slide. Um, and that way I feel like I take in more and not distracted so much. And then afterwards I write up my notes neatly in full so that I can understand them. Because in a few months time I'm going to come back to revise this and I probably forget what I meant when I do all my abbreviations and stuff. Um, I use a colour as well to highlight the key points just so stuff stands out, like the most important stuff. And I also colour code my notes but that's more just because I like to. Um, and I find this also helps me to like keep the information in because I'm learning it in the lecture and then I'm reviewing it within 24 hours, 38 hours afterwards. And then I'll come back in a few months time and look at it again so that by the time at the, I get to the exam I'll know, hopefully know all of it uh, very well and have a good understanding. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I take my notes. Um, I would probably take my notes on chemistry a bit later, um, just because I have a bit more stuff to write from textbooks and that. But right now I'm probably going to head back to the halls, get some lunch on the way, and then I'm going to work on the lab report, which I just had a briefing on, and talk a bit more about that. Okay, so I just got back from campus and I'm going to be working on this lab report now for the next couple of hours or so. Uh, my lab partner's already started writing the introduction, but now I've got to do the number crunching sort of part of it. Um, this lab is from last Tuesday. Uh, we were reacting uh, hypochlorite with luminol, which is basically what happens when you break a glow stick and it starts glowing. And measure we were measuring the light to figure out how fast it was reacting. Um, but what I really like about these labs, even though there's a lot of work to do for them, is that they're all problem based. So it's not just like maths that we do, but we actually take it and apply it to solve a problem. Like in this case, we're trying to design a solution of this luminol stuff um, for forensic scientists to use to de detect blood. So it's more than just applying equations, which I really like. Um, and it helps to apply the concepts we learn in lectures to the real world and not just kind of theory um, and all our labs are like this which is like the, the best thing like every single one is interesting um, even though they can be a bit tedious sometimes and the briefing this morning actually was on the end of term we have this rig building competition where we actually design and build our own piece of equipment um, and we've got to design something to pump water between two tanks so after I finish this, this is due in a few days or so, I'll start designing that and then um, in a couple of weeks time we'll build it and try and sell it. So I'm going to work on this now, should get it done in the next couple of hours and then I'll make dinner and then probably do something afterwards. So it's about half nine now. Um, I've just been working for the past couple of hours on a uh, few problem sheets I've got due over the next week. Um, I don't tend to work in the evening that often, only if I've got nothing else to do uh, or I've got a lot of work due at that time. Uh, for me, I'm more of a morning person, so evenings tend to be more of a social time. I either go out with friends or just hang out and chat with them. Um, I don't tend to pull late nighters like a lot of people do here. Um, that being said, my I do have kind of an evening routine which I run through. It's not very complicated. It's very similar to my morning routine. I check my timetable for tomorrow, figure out what I'm doing, and then I check my to-do list as well, which I made in the morning, and I see what I've done, what I haven't done, um, and I can kind of go to sleep, um, hopefully knowing that I've done everything I wanted to do today, or at least I know what I need to do the next day. Um, so, yeah, I do that. I get ready for bed. Um, often I read for half an hour, an hour, um, before I go to sleep, just to kind of wind down. Um, I do like reading fiction quite a bit, so, 
that's probably what I'm going to go do now because it's uh, getting late. Um, usually I aim to be asleep by about 11ish um, to get at least 8 hours sleep. Um, pretty much every day I have 9am lectures. Uh, so I need to be up at 7, leave at 8. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm going to go do now. So thank you for watching. Um, please uh, check out, I have a blog. Um, there'll be a link in the description down below. Um, so check that out and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. And yeah, have a good evening.